This video is brought to you by DR Strings. Since 1989, DR Strings has been making handmade round core strings to satisfy the needs of some of the greatest guitar and bass players in the world. Listen and learn more at drstrings.com. What's up, everybody? My name is Nathan Gallagher, repairman here at Legendary Groom Guitars in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to show you guys how to intonate a vintage or reissue Fender Telecaster. Before we get into adjusting the intonation on the instrument, let's talk about what intonation is. Intonation is making an adjustment so that the individual notes play in tune up and down the neck so that the instrument is in tune with itself. One of the main reasons intonation needs to be adjusted is to accommodate different string gauges. You do that down here at the saddles by adjusting them forward or backwards depending on how far you need to go. When checking intonation, make sure you have a good tuner with a fully charged battery. Check the high E string first and then it should match the fretted 12th note. It's a little sharp. Since the fretted 12th note was sharp, we need to elongate the scale. To do this, we need to move the saddle back. To move the saddle back, we're going to need a few basic tools. First, a properly fitting Phillips or flathead screwdriver, depending on what you have on your instrument. It's important to remember to first do no harm to the instrument. So, soft old cotton t-shirt, anything will work. Next, we want to make the adjustment by elongating the scale. So we want to tighten the screw to bring the saddle back. It's important to not get in a hurry and take it about a half turn at a time. quarter turn I think we'll have it. Make sure to retune the high E string before individual checks. And we have it. Now that the high E string has been intonated correctly, continue the same process in playing position over the remaining five strings. And again, what we're doing is checking that the open string matches the fretted 12th note. Something to be mindful of is most other electric guitars allow you to adjust the intonation of each string individually. However, on vintage Fender Telecasters and reissue Telecasters, they have a shared string saddle. So there are two strings per saddle. So when you adjust the high E, you're also adjusting the B, for example. So if you find yourself in a situation where the high E is intonated correctly and the B, for example, is sharp or flat, the best thing to do is split the difference between the two. Now that we've finished properly intonating a 1956 Fender Telecaster, Let's take a look at what we need to do to intonate this beautiful 1965 Fender Stratocaster. One of the first big differences you'll see from a Telecaster to a Stratocaster is this Stratocaster has a functional tremolo system with individual saddles to intonate each string individually. To check intonation, make sure the instrument is in playing position. Check the open string with a fretted 12th. Looking good there. B's a little sharp. Since the B string was sharp, we need to elongate the scale. To do this, we need a couple of basic tools. A screwdriver and something to protect the instrument. If you don't happen to have something handy laying around, a great trick is to insert the tremolo arm and gently press down, lifting the bridge saddles up and slacking the strings, protecting the instrument and also making it easier to adjust the saddles. Since we're elongating the scale, we want to tighten the screw to bring the saddle back. Don't get in a hurry, half turn at a time is all you need. A little bit goes a long way. And check.
right on the money. Now let's take a look at how to adjust the intonation on a 2010 Les Paul with a tunematic style bridge. When intonating a tunematic style bridge, the same principle applies. We want the open string and the fretted 12th to match. Tunematic style bridges come installed on instruments a couple of different ways. This one, for example, has the adjustment screws facing the pickups. Sometimes they come with the adjustment screws facing the tailpiece. Another big difference you'll notice is that some tunematics have a retainer spring that runs across the top of the screws to keep the screws and the individual saddles from falling out during disassembly. With the instrument in playing position, let's check the intonation and see if any adjustments at all need to be made. Beautiful. Nice. The G's a little flat. So we'll need to shorten the scale to bring it up to pitch. To shorten the scale, get a flathead screwdriver and we want to tighten the screw, bringing the saddle forward. It's important to not get in a hurry and take it about a half or even a quarter turn at a time. Bring the instrument back in playing position. Make sure the string is in tune and check it again. And we're home. Now that the G string's been intonated correctly, continue the same process over the remaining strings. Just to recap, to check intonation, we check the open string with the fretted 12th in hopes that they match. If they don't, we come down and adjust the saddles to shorten or elongate the scale as needed. For Premier Guitar, this is Nathan Gallagher coming to you from Groon Guitars right here in Nashville, Tennessee.